Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to Where Wendy uh, Travels, Where Wendy Creates. We are taking a look at our uh, junk journals today and just seeing how we can add a little bit of frou-frou. And I thought I'd bring you along with me today to uh, check it out and enjoy. So I'm just going to grab one of my stamp pads. I'm going to take this top boring outside cover and we're just going to go around it real quick. Now you can use any kind of a paintbrush depending upon what you want this to look like. Um, even look at uh, browns or grays to uh, have just a little bit of outline color on it. But it goes around real quick. Just pick up that ink pad and go around the edge. You can have it as much or as little coverage as you want. If I wanted more coverage, I just go a little bit flatter on it and I go further up on the page. So again, that can give any kind of uh, shading that you want. It's very easy to do. And if you pay a little bit more attention, you won't get the straight edges like I have just shown you there. And then if this were the bottom of the page, we can even turn it into grass or other such objects. So again, as much or as little as you want just to make those edges just pop a little bit more. Um, that's one grid trick that I enjoy doing. And I also like going ahead and using different textures, different feels. Uh, this one is thick enough we can put a page on this. So if I just simply take another eight and a half by 11, I could turn this into a double page or flip this in half or any portion thereof. Uh, quickly sew it around and make a pocket on that page. So I think we're gonna go ahead and make a pocket on the inside. Oh, look at, I tore that and I didn't fold it over um, sharp enough. But that torn edge is sometimes a beautiful thing as well, so don't let that stop you. If you tear something wrong, roll with the punches. Go a little bit more dramatic. I think I like the white texture on that. So we're going to uh, go ahead and take this onto the colored side. We're just going to cover up the bottom of that sketch pad. Uh, maybe I'm going to tear it off a little bit more so I'm a birdie head show. I think that's what I'm going to do. So that gave us a great idea there. And I want the white to show, so I'm going to tear it this angle. And we're just going to pull it off so my birdie head show. See if I want to go, oh my goodness, look at that pop. Look at that pop. And now I'm going to sew it down all the way across up the other side. And that way we're going to have a beautiful pocket with those birdie heads uh, showing there. And we're just going to fold this one on half so it doesn't try and torque or move it for me. And we're going to turn on the sewing machine. Well, oop, let's cover up that ink pad before I get myself all inked up. Uh, keep your scraps because we can use those in a, a multitude of different ways, whether it's for a tuck, a hide, extra decorations, um, or just making paper out of it. So let's bring this over to the sewing machine or bring the sewing machine over to us. So I can show you here how I put the page on, just quick and simple. I'm gonna turn this over to a straight stitch. So I'm gonna turn my width back to zero so it comes in as a straight stitch. And we're just gonna zip it real quick all the way around it. I think I have blue in it, so that couldn't be more convenient, could it? Okay, line those pages up. Now, again, I want the length of my stitch to be a little bit longer, so I've moved that out a little. And then you're going to see the stitching across on the other side, which I think is just going to be uh, perfect. As well. And you want the needle down when you pick up the foot, pivot, and go up the other side here. And then, let's see, looking through the camera, I got off Kelter there. Um, but when we add this into a, uh, a junk journal and we bind the signature, it's going to be um, uh, sewn right in the center or bound right in the center. But you're still going to see the, 
the bird pop on this side and the bird pop on this side. So I'll probably stick some paper in here or maybe even a sticker to cover up some of this. Um, maybe some uh, uh, gesso paint just to make that a little bit more exciting. But as you can see, we've got that large, large pocket so we can put um, cards, papers, notes, tickets, anything we have down in there. And if we didn't like this top part, we can tear that in any manner that we choose as well. Again, a junk journal is a work in progress. Look how beautiful those stitches turned out. And a little lopsided because I'm looking through the, the camera to video this, um, but I'm really excited about that. And the stitches on the other side, um, I love to feel that. I love some textures in it. I might put some more green paint over top of it or maybe even a green marker to outline that. Um, lots of different ideas. Let's cut the strings from the top. And we are good to go with that page. And I hope you have enjoyed just uh, frou frouing up a little bit with a stamp and an idea for adding some pages. And that any leftovers are not trash. They can be reused, put into a junk journal. Have a great day, my friends.